Hey there, my name is Deborah Denier, and I am your Feng Shui Master. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about mindfulness. Mindfulness, when we think about it, can affect every part of our life. Uh, mindfulness when we're eating, the delicious taste that we have on our, in our mouths and, and, and the delicious smell of fabulous food. Mindfulness also can be used when meditating, when looking around and seeing a fabulous landscape and just taking it all in spending time with someone you really care about and focusing just on that very, very special moment. But mindfulness can also be associated with the spaces that you spend time in. And if you're mindful as to what you surround yourself with, then it really has an impact on you both mentally and physically. And I think in your soul and heart as well. So it's about self-care. It's about thinking about what are the things that really make you happy and surrounding yourself with those things in your interiors. But there's also something else to think about, and that is our connection to nature. And if we can't be in nature at all times, and we do spend over 90% of our time indoors, then we need to bring some of those um, things from nature indoors, whether they're actual objects like seashells or maybe pine cones from a walk in the forest or the colors, art, maybe photographs of times that you have spent in nature or some of these images that you actually maybe purchase like a postcard or a poster or fine art. It can be any of those things. And what we have learned about the brain is that our brain reacts to these symbols of nature in a very similar way as if we were in nature. And the positive effects on our bodies and our minds are, wow, it just kind of blows me away when I think about the different people I work with and how they have been impacted in a positive way by making those connections in their spaces. Uh, there was a cancer magazine that actually wrote an article uh, about my work in creating calm spaces. And while we think about cancer uh, this month, and kind of celebrate the heroes um, that have walked through treatments and the heroes that have been caretakers. Think about how they can all be impacted by the spaces that they spend time in if they're actually created in a way to make a positive impact. So some of the things they can use from a feng shui perspective would be color. So kind of match up colors from nature that you really love, the sky blue and the green that you might see in a forest, sunshine, the colors of the sand on the beach. These would all be soothing and hit other senses. Your sense of smell. Um, when I was in the real estate business, I knew that if you put cookies in the oven and people walked in and they smelled those chocolate chip cookies or brownies, they felt like they were home. These kinds of things actually have a positive impact on you from your childhood or some great memories of being with your family. Do it, <laughs> do it. And um, other, um, sense that you can use is like lavender and sage. Um, it could be incense, it can be potpourri, it could be all kinds of things that you bring in. These beautiful sprays like a lavender mist spray um, to kind of enliven that sense. So it's what you see, it's what you smell, it's what you hear. Maybe some 
fabulous music um, that you have in your room. Just know that these things are impacting not just people who are healing or sick, but their caretakers, the people that really need that healing alongside um, the patient. Um, the other thing I'd like you to think about that's very feng shui is um, water features. So it could be a little water fountain um, in your room that um, affects what you're hearing, that calming sound of the water, but also water that pushes up is a symbol of life and abundance and health in all areas brings good luck. So try that out as well. I'm wishing you all to be healthy and safe and happy and calm and very mindful about what you bring into your life, what you put on your skin, what you listen to, what you see, what you taste. It all adds up to feeling better about yourself and about your life. Namaste.